Hey everyone, just want to make a quick video on how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to your Framer website. It's pretty simple to do, and I'll go ahead and walk you through it right now. So first we have our Framer website right here, and what we want to do is go to the top right where it says Publish. Go ahead and click on that, and then click on where it says Add Domain. If you already have a pre-existing domain, you can actually just go to the Site Settings directly, and then go to the Domains tab on the left-hand side. But we want to come down to where it says Custom Domain, and we want to select the connect a domain you own button. From here, we're gonna to wanna to grab our domain address. So I'm gonna just go ahead and copy that from our GoDaddy dashboard. Gonna enter it in right here. Click on the check mark. And now it's gonna tell us that our DNS records need to be set up. So what we can do is go back to our domain, click on where it says manage DNS. Then we wanna click on where it says add new record. For the type, we're gonna select A. For the name, we're gonna enter in an at symbol. For the value, we're gonna actually add this top value right here, and then paste that into the value form right there. I'm gonna leave the TTL alone, and then click on where it says save. Then I'm gonna add another record. For the type, we're gonna choose A. For the name, we're also gonna enter in an add symbol again. For the value, we're gonna grab the second row here. Go ahead and copy that. Enter it into the value input. Leave the TTL alone, and then click on where it says save. And the last step we need to do is add one more record. This time it's gonna be a C name type record. For the name field, we're going to enter in www. For the value, we're going to copy this last row here, the sites.framer.app. Go ahead and paste that in and then click on where it says save. Now, if we go back to the Framer dashboard, we're going to see that it's still saying pending and that's because it takes some time for all the DNS records to update globally. But if you give it a few hours, it should update all the DNS records globally, and it should be able to connect to your Framer website. If this video helped you guys out, please leave a like. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helped you out.